It's being totally gutted. Roseanne Burke is one of several Vernon residents whose home was flooded during an intense storm, where manhole covers shot into the air, sending rushing water down city streets, unable to handle the heavy downpour. Now we're looking at the aftermath. We had about six inches of water in the basement. Everything has to be taken out of the basement and the carpet's all replaced. Furniture, a lot of damage. Downtown, vehicles tried to wade through the water while others made the best of a soggy situation. Businesses were pelted with hail and sidewalks were made into lakes. We came back here and realized that the hail had come so fast and so quick it was clogged up the, the drain up on the roof. And all of a sudden we had a big flood in the washroom and water pouring down here, water pouring down here. But we had to close the store because it was quite a mess. We were bailing and mopping. and. Aaron Failing lives in the East Hill area, one of the neighborhood's hardest hit, and happened to be shopping in carousel consignments after the storm. She explains that she was caught in the middle of the action and has the battle wounds to prove it. I hear my cat scream, so I had to go out and help her, and I was in shorts. And um, <laughs> luckily I had a long sleeve shirt on, but um, when I went outside to try to help her, I was getting pelted, and I have bruises on my head, I have bruises on my legs, quite big bruises. Drains in the downtown core started to overflow, unable to handle the amount of rain that fell during the storm. And outside the Okanagan Regional Library, asphalt along the train tracks began to crumble, and the city says it could be an expensive repair. In Polson Park, more manhole covers burst off, sending rushing water into the sky and into Vernon's Science Centre, flooding the basement. So we were trying to stop the water at, you know, with blankets and foam and everything else at the door. We couldn't, it was actually coming underneath the threshold. So we had, yeah, we, there was no way that we could stop the water from, from entering the building, unfortunately. City crews were hard at work repairing sidewalks and crumbling asphalt in the day following the storm. The city says the water sewer systems drained properly during the event, but that the total estimate of damage is not yet known. Jen Zielinski in Vernon for Castanet News.